Hello everyone, it's Kangaroo here, and I hope you're having a great day. We're going to complete this um, review of this Freightliner Coronado version 1. Uh, it's a mod. I'll leave the mod where you can actually get this mod in the video description. Let's start her up and take her to the destination. We couldn't finish it last time. This is part two, by the way. We couldn't finish finish it last time because uh, I had tea to go. I've had my tea now. I'm just doing the second part, so I can't actually see out that mirror that well. So we're just going to, have to guess. That it's clear. It's very foggy, very foggy, and these lights don't seem to be making it any better at all. I think that's another thing they've added to Eurotrip Simulator 2 recently, probably in one of the old updates, they've put fog in, the fog into it, so it's very realistic, yeah. quite realistic, because I was drawing pretty quickly uh, in the last video, uh, I went over the hump, it uh, around the bend and nearly into the other side of the truck because I couldn't see that truck there. So um, I don't. I think I know this road, but I don't really know it. So it's quite difficult to drive, and, and these even these lights on a actual normal day, clear day, clear night, aren't very good. So there we go. I hope you're enjoying whatever you're doing now, you're probably watching me. I'm all over the road now. Just got to be ready for something in front of me going very slow, so... Uh, just so you know this, I'll be giving a review overall of this truck at the end of the video and saying what I enjoyed about it, what I didn't like about it, but so far, I think most of the stuff on this truck is really good. But, you know, there's a few iffy bits, but I'll talk about that at the end of the video. You can't really get a picture in the fog, really. That's quite a, a broke, did break too much there. <coughs> <coughs> My brother's got a cold, so I am trying to keep away from him, quite literally, you know. I don't want the cold at all, but, you know, maybe this time next week I'll have it. Don't want it! But, you know, my hygiene levels have, you know, really ramped up, so... I know this bit. There's a quite a big street down here, if you remember. Whoa! Went too quick around that bend. Whoa. This truck is really fun to drive. It's got a smooth just so smooth. That's Yeah, one of the things I like about it. Straight away. Tight bend, and then we be, we will be on the uh, oats away. Then, so let's just go around this corner. 
the truck sometimes struggles to get up the hill, so. Well, most trucks do actually. It wouldn't be like this on the motorway at all. In, uh, in real life, you actually have a slip road, and the slip road is the same s speed limit as the motorway. But obviously, some people don't really understand that, and they do about 30 now. So, when you actually get to the motorway, everything's going a lot quicker, and people don't seem to realise that you need to be going, you know, doing at least 70 down the slipway to get onto the motorway safely, but they don't seem to realise that. And that's what I get annoyed with. Honestly. People that don't even know how to drive on the motorway. <coughs> Should be at least doing 60, 70 down the slip road to get, you know, speed up. That slip road gives you the momentum to get onto the motorway. And then you get onto the motorway and you can relax and sort of, but just keep an eye out how much for other vehicles. Yeah, these lights aren't very good, I have to say that. I think we need some better ones on there. Maybe, you know, you could add, like, a rack onto the truck, that'd be better. Another thing is, that I don't like the interior. Just don't like the interior of this truck. Okay, the green looks pretty cool, maybe. But, not the, not the brown, not the brown green. Ugh. So, uh, what's that? Are those services on the other side? See this random road going into the motorway on the set nav? Yeah, I'm going off here and we're going to go into Carlisle. You know, the quickest video I've ever done. Whoa, don't go into that. Don't go into that Lexus, is it a Lexus? I th uh, what we do is we guess the car in um, Euro Truck Simulator 2 in my lights now because I don't really need them on. I'll just use the motor brake now, the button one. Around here. There we go. Why have I got my wipers on? I have no idea. <laughs> That's what you're probably thinking. Yeah, I've got computer still to set up. I need to have a second monitor and a second computer. Computer, so I've got one. I'm going to set it up. Those red lights. Oh, I did not expect that. I was just wondering why the AI had stopped. Here we go. Whoa. That was weird. Felt weird. Oh, speed cameras. Now it's been a subscribe on my channel, but I don't, I, you can't you know, share it publicly, so I can't see it. But thank you very, very much for subscribing. Um, you know, it really does make me feel a lot better if you sit with me. A lot happier that people are enjoying what I am doing. It's basically putting out videos, so thank you ever so much for that. I don't have speed cameras in uh, town, so like that mini, I'm going to speed up. Look at him, he's just shot off, and that's just weird. He's doing at least 36 miles an hour then. I want to get through these lights. I'm now doing a speed limit, I need 30. There you go, 30 miles an hour, bang on. Oh, we're going in that. We're going in that. We're going to have to go round the roundabout to go back again because I missed it. 
Whoops. Here we go. I mean, he's going around all the way, he's pulled out in front of me, what are they doing? I'm going to have to cut in now and sort of go left. Whoa. Right, we're going in here. Go. Uh oh, I need to turn that mod off. I need to take the Coca Cola truck mod off. Because it is. Well, I need to keep the truck on. Well, hmm. I need it for next year, really. I'm probably going to do that next year again. Because it was a success, and you all seem to be enjoying it. So, I'll do that next year, probably. Ah, oh, look, the speedo even reads. I'm reversing, that's ace. Right, so late. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Seven hours and seventeen minutes. Oh, that's because I had a rest. There we go. God, that truck does look good actually. They've improved it so much. So well done, the authors of it. It drives really beautifully. It has re free reversing gears. Yeah. Don't need those lights on now. It's now the morning. It's got quite a good. It's quite speedy as well. <laughs> I don't want another one. Oh, the sat nav works as well. Well done. I, I, I would like to say thank you. If you did actually watch that video and you wanted to know how it actually went and, you know, the mod, uh, mods. I'm sticking out into the road. There you go. Um, but thank you very much for watching that video if you did take on my uh, views of this truck. Or the old truck. <coughs> that dated version, I have to say, is way better. Um, what what do I say about it? I mean, this, this there are a few things that you could improve. Basically, I'll show you now when we get to the destination about the smoke. But uh, the smoke is oh god, I've been like a boy racer, eh? Shouldn't do that. Ooh, that's a tight coil. Are we in? Where are we? Carlisle. But I'll show you the problems now. Once I uh, get into that here. Let's go. I don't want to go into the hotel. Oh, I went into the wrong place. They're close together. You can see my problem. There's no one in here. That's great. Does that look pretty cool? Like that. That looks pretty cool, doesn't it? So, um, 
one of the first problems, right, okay. I'm going to turn the engine off now. Okay, I've turned the engine off. And there's smoke still coming out of the exhaust. Okay, that's one of the problems. And... Every t when even when y I'm going to prove this to you now. Even if you, you move forward, the smoke doesn't actually. Uh, the smoke doesn't actually go with the the, f the flow of the air, so it doesn't react to it like in oh, in a normal truck. It sort of moves about, but it doesn't. So that's another problem. Also, um, I would like an option, obviously if people enjoy this option, to have like a sort of black and maybe even a red and black interior, or grey and black, I don't know, something other than this sort of beige stuff, because I do not enjoy it, uh, a lot of people out there don't like enjoy it. The textures on the um, seats could be improved maybe, and, well I'm being really picky now. The back though, the back of the truck looks really cool and really excellent so you know some of the details well, they could be improved, it may be my graphics so I'm not going to really pick on you with that much. The curtains, they've been changed but I didn't really see, I can't really actually remember where we even looked into the back of you know, the old version of this truck so nice microwave there um, a nice laptop and some CDs um, inside here then, uh, obviously, it's got the sunroof, that's nice. I think that's really everything. Um, I don't know when you, when you turn the lights on, or the lights come in, the, no, but I do, I don't know where I would actually like this sort of green. Maybe you could change the backlight to red, maybe, I don't know, but I just don't like the green, I don't think. But I like the green in the top analog bigger uh, analog uh, panel above the dials. That's cool. I uh, also like the little. Uh, <coughs> see if I can zoom in. I can't zoom in. But by the sat nav there, you get have the handbrake. But by the handbrake, you have the. If I change gear, you can see that changes gear. So that's neutral. That's gear two. Is it one? Or I don't know. I'm not too sure. But um, R1, neutral, and there, so that's quite cool. Um, some of the, and also another cool thing is the driving of the truck. The driving of the truck is really good. I, I enjoy driving it all the way down to Carlisle from Aberdeen. It was really great. great. Uh, textures on the outside then, uh, well, they look pretty cool. Um, you've really, really improved that, and also you've taken on my advice to remove the rectangle, um, like mark of the rectangle thing on the under the wheels and the whole truck. That's been removed. I can't see it under the truck now, but uh, there used to be a thing, like a like a metal thing or prodding into the ground. But I guess you've removed that, so that's another th good thing that you've done. Um, also, I would recommend this truck to anyone else using Euro Truck Simulator 2. Uh, have I got the lights on? Another thing that you could improve is the length of the lights. The lights aren't very good and you could include some racks. Some light racks, light bars, that would be good, good as well. <coughs> My voice is going, sorry. Um, but apart from those gl liches in it, it's a really good truck and I would recommend it to anyone but apart from the apart from the, the sort of smoke coming out of the exhaust, I don't like that so but thank you very much for releasing it thank you very much for watching if you have watched this um, subscribe, like uh, this video, subscribe to my channel if you would like to leave comments thank you very much for watching everyone i'll see you in the, in the next video when i post it up and not on this truck because i've done this mod review now so but thank you anyway again and see you next time goodbye <laughs>